Right, what we have here is a uh, Webley Mark I. And this was Webley's very first um, attempt at an air rifle. Came out about the mid-1920s. Didn't make them for very long. Um, stopped making them in the very, very early 1930s. In fact, the exact dates came out in 1925 and stopped making them in 1932. So not a very long production run. Uh, and also not very many made either. It's estimated that there were about 1,500 of these rifles made. Um, and that was it. Uh, so quite a scarce, uh, highly collectible air rifle. Quite a small rifle, only about 30, I can't remember, 30, 30 34 inches long with a 19 inch barrel. Uh, and a 14 and a half inch um, stock so it wasn't designed for uh, for youths or children it was an adult's rifle from the very start but it's just quite compact with a fairly small cylinder on it now the whole thing was really just um, an enlarged Webley air pistol Webley Mark 1 air pistol really um, exactly the same design exactly the same features uh, everything. In fact, this didn't even have any uh, separate patents brought out when it was made. All the patents for the uh, construction of this were already covered on the uh, the Webley air pistol. So let's have a little close look. So, as usual with the Webley, as you would imagine, uh, comes with a rather nice walnut stock. Quite a chunky walnut stock as well. Uh, fairly plain, but quite chunky. Uh, nicely finished. Pretty decent bit of timber, uh, metal butt plate held in with two wood screws. Um, anyone familiar with the Webley Mark I will know what that is. That's the Webley uh, safety catch off the Mark I on the Mark I target. Trigger, pretty basic trigger, uh, but nonetheless quite good actually. This has got quite a good trigger on it. Uh, and then this is the only non-standard part on this air rifle. Um, basically, what you had here was an adjuster for the trigger. So the screw that would have gone through here and adjusted the sear engagement. And what's obviously happened at some time or other, the, uh, the thread's been stripped and someone's weld, spot welded a nut on and a screw to do the, uh, do the job. Now, by the looks of it and by the looks of this screw, this is a very, very old repair. Um, and imagine that no collector in his right mind would have done this. So this has been done when this gun was still being, um, in effect, used as someone's prized air rifle. So it's probably a very old repair. Now what I might do, I might just grind that bit of weld off uh, and re-tap that hole for a slightly um, thicker screw, but I'll do that later on. Or I might even keep it because it's part of the gun's history. Because like I say, it's not a modern repair, that. that's been on there for donkey's years. So, marking, so you've got the Webley and Scott flying bullet, W and S underneath it, the standard logo, Webley. Webley air rifle, Mark 1. Safety catch with a little arrow, word safe on it. Uh, and then this is an earlier, um, one of the earlier ones, I suppose. Sort of probably just over half, or three quarters of the way through. Um, because it's got still got the Birmingham and London markings. So they still had offices in London at the time. So it's got manufactured by Webley and Scott Limited, Birmingham and London. The later ones just have Birmingham written on there. Moving down, pretty standard format for anyone that's uh, ever seen a Webley and Scott Mark 1 air pistol, or indeed any of them really. So cock the barrel downwards and that just drags the piston forwards and the piston on these goes backwards. Exactly the same as uh, uh, the air, Webley air pistols. So on the band here you've got the calibre 2.2 two. and then you've got an adjustable height adjustable foresight. Um, so what you do just undo that screw and then you see there there's a little line above it and it corresponds with these little graduations on the front here and then you line it up depending what you want to shoot and then once you've got it set you just lock it off by tightening that screw dead simple really 
nice simple design. Standard Webley foresight. Uh, to get windage, you, you couldn't drift the rear sight like on a lot of rifles. So to get your windage right, you have to drift the front sight. So on the other side of the rifle, we have on the breech again here, we have all the patents or some of the patents. And then we have other patents stamped lower down on this side of the breech. And then we have the uh, serial number, which is 1067. As I say, nicely shaped walnut stock. I love the way it sort of flutes in at the bottom bit here. Pretty basic, but it's very nice. So this one's not in bad condition, really. Um, it's not too bad at all, to be honest. The stock's very nice. The stock's got no damage on it at all, really. Um, shoots really well. Quite low powered. You know, these weren't designed for hunting. These were plinking, fun and target type rifles. Um, so not very powerful at all, really. You'd be lucky to get six foot pounds out of one. Um, so fairly low powered, but nonetheless, very accurate. It's really accurate rifle. So a nice 19 inch fully rifled barrel. Um, oh, underneath where that adjustment screw, I forgot to say, it's, it has got a just pull written on it. See on the bottom there, just pull. Yeah, so not a very powerful, but very accurate little rifle. Webley's first air rifle. I really like this thing. Um, even though it's quite small, and you would imagine that it's going to be a fairly flimsy affair, it's actually, it only weighs five and a half pounds. But because it's so compact and stubby, um, it feels really, really solid and chunky in the hands. It's a very chunky little rifle. Pardon me, the pistol grip's quite wide. It gives it quite a chunky little feel to it. Um, moderate effort to cock it. Um, these had, instead of a leather piston washer, these had two um, brass phosphor, uh, phos phosphor bronze rings, a bit like a uh, sort of similar setup to what you get in a, an internal combustion engine, where you get piston rings rather than a leather washer. Um, so there was slightly longer living than uh, than a leather a leather washer. Open the barrel by sliding this top catch backwards. Exactly the same as on on the air pistol, really, just slightly larger. So you slide that back and then break the barrel. And on the back here, you'll notice on this one, um, you don't always see this on them, but it's got some. Uh, Sort of cross cut checkering on here and the idea behind that was to reduce glare from the back block when you were uh, using the rifle this one's not bad it's got a fair amount of its blue in it's going a little bit brown in places but overall it's in pretty good condition um, and apart from the adjusting screw uh, everything's on it Everything's original. All the screws are pretty good as well. They're not grollied or smashed. Stock's nice. Shoots really well. Shoots really well, actually. So all in all, quite a nice example of a very early Webley Mark I. And what a beautiful little air rifle it is. Quite scarce these. You do not see that many of them around. Thanks for watching.